Hey guys, it's Carrie Lynn from SheSaved.com and I'm here with my daughter Lauren and her little helper Pipsqueak and we are going to show you how we go about making our fairy gardens, um, specifically our indoor fairy garden because that's the one that we get asked about the most and ironically we are outside today because it's just beautiful here in Idaho today. Um, Hopefully you can hear us over the creek in the background and all of the animals, but um, we'll try and give you a peek at um, just how we go about making this garden. We just got back from the garden center where we picked up a little bush type shrub and we do that for height in our garden and I'll kind of explain that to you later. And then we trim it up um, over time. We also picked up a little tiny ivy plant some of this fiber optic grass. We haven't used this before, but it just looks really fairy-ish, so we wanted to try it. Um, we've got our bucket of moss, and you'll see where moss comes in really handy for these. Um, we picked up a little um, flowering plant. We have some golden scotch moss, and then also some woolly thyme. And we have our little box of fairy goodies. We love to collect these and we spend a lot of time hunting for them at garage sales, thrift stores. Um, you'd be surprised where you can find little fairy garden things like that. And we've got our fairy garden house. And the best part, this is our fairy garden basket. Lauren, do you kind of want to lift that up and show us how... So we got this basket last year actually on a Christmas clearance sale at a grocery store. It had a Christmas tree and kind of some florals in it, um, but after Christmas it was like 90% off. And so we saw the gem in the rough and um, this basket is lined with plastic so that you can have it indoors and not worry about leakage. Do you want to lift it over and show them? Um, it's got a lot of moss on the bottom and the sides. And then inside we have used floral foam to create layers. And we're going to kind of go in now and show you how that works. Okay, so we're going to get ready to start adding things to our fairy garden. We're going to start with the little bush shrub. Um, and we put that in one side because we really like to get that height in the garden. And that's important for fairies. Why, Lauren? Because fairies love to climb trees and like to go on tire swings. They do like tire swings, right? And we just so happen to have a tire swing waiting to go into our fairy garden. Okay, so then next we're going to show you what else goes into here. Um, we have made indentions in the foam so that the pots fit flush with the top of the basket. And you can see that, and it's really important to do that. And the reason why is because you want to be able to make a level land for all of your fairy stuff and also when you water it then it's pretty even and easy to do so as you can see do you want to put that flower in there Lauren so they can kind of see how that tucks in there as well so we basically cut into the foam so that everything once it's in our basket is going to lay really flush okay and so we are going to now plant the fiber optic grass into that little pot right there. Okay, so you can see how we're pushing that fiber optic grass, or Lauren is, down into that pot, pushing it really good, and that gives some cute height in the back. And then over here what we've done is we're taking um, these mosses and putting them into this pot. You don't ever let the growth get down in the sides where there's not a pot. But Lauren, do you want to show them how we're doing that? Um, turn that over and show them how we rip the bottom off of it. So really, yeah, it's really short. And then she's just going to shove it into there as a filler in the pot. And then that kind of creates a land for the fairies. And then we'll do the same thing with this moss here. And with this stuff, it's just really important that you're um, keeping it inside the shrubs pot so that it's not um, needing, it's getting the water when you water that um, pot. And then we'll kind of show you how we're filling the other areas as we go. Okay, as you can see, um, 
Lauren's taken and filled in a lot of areas. You want to turn it around so that we can see how things are coming? Okay, so now what she's going to do is we've got this um, cute little house here. She's going to stick it in there. Is that where you want your fairy house to go? Yep. And then we're literally going to just start filling all of the extra areas with this craft moss. And you can get that at the craft store. We've got a bucket of it that we saved from different things. Sometimes when you get a floral arrangement, it'll be in there. Um, and we're just going to tuck that in in all the little extra places to cover any dirt, um, especially in holes, um, just so that it kind of fills in your little fairy lands. So as you're working on your garden, you'll want to just kind of adjust things um, to the different trinkets that you have in your plan. What do you think, Lauren? Um, let's switch these two. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, so you want to move the grass to the back and the ivy to the front. Mm -hmm. And then put some more ground cover on those. Oh, I like that. Okay, so once you've got your fairy garden kind of all filled in and ready to go, now is time for the fun part. We're going to start adding some accessories, and some of these are things that we have made, and some of these are little trinkets that we have found. What should we start with first, Lauren? Um, let's do mailbox. Okay, where do you want the mailbox to go? Right there. Okay, let's stick the mailbox, um, oh, there it goes, right in the corner there. Perfect. Okay, what next? Fence? Yeah, cool. Okay. Oh, I love that pink little fence. Cute. Okay, so what's next? Um, let's do tire swing. Tire swing. Okay, you want to show them what that is? That is literally just a tire off of an old toy on a string. And... You want to find a good branch to put that on? We know from experience that fairies love tire swings. Perfect, and we'll come back and tie that in later, but isn't that cute? Okay, what's next? Put a little pack. Oh, yes, hold those up and show them. Okay, these are literally just made out of clay with little beads um, popped into them, and those are stepping stones. You want to go ahead and set those into the moss. Oh, cute. Okay, so she's added all these little stepping stones. Isn't that cute? Um, okay, Lauren, what's next? Let's just start adding some things. The ladder. Okay, and this is a little lantern. So cute, and it's literally just made out of twisted wire with a bead on the end. Oh, I love it. Okay, what's next? A little birdhouse. A little birdhouse back in the corner for the birdies to come visit. What's this? It's a tiny little watering hose. Okay, this is the cutest thing. Little tiny handmade watering hose. So easy to make just out of any green kind of craft wire. And then on the very end of it is the back of an earring. Isn't that cute? I just think that's the cutest idea. Can you hold that for me to see? Okay, there you go. I'm going to put that out in the backyard to water the garden. These are mushrooms. Oh, cute. I love it. Little mushroom garden going on back there. What else you got in your little box of trinkets? A tiny squirrel. Cute. I'm going to put the bird in the tree. Tiny bird nest. Oh, cute. Eggs. Where yeah. are you going to put the bird nest? Probably put it right here. Cute. We picked up these really cute little garden stakes on clearance at our garden center this weekend. You want to put one of those in there? Sure. 
Is Which this one? one? Oh, that's cute. What does it say? Laughter blooms here. Great. Okay, and where are you going to put this? Probably right here. Love it. Okay. All right, we're just putting the finishing touches on our fairy garden. As you can see, we've got some buttons um, glued to a wire that we strung around our fairy garden because we think that's kind of Tinkerbellish, right? And then um, Lauren's putting in um, a little bunny. And I think that's the most important thing um, to remember when you're doing a fairy garden is that it's a work in progress. And that's the whole point of it is that it's something that you can work on all the time. Um, you're always changing and improving and if you're looking to do this type of fairy garden that works well indoors This basket fairy garden can't you can bring it outside right and sometimes we do But with the elements it's really kind of better indoors and we find that if you're keeping a close eye on it It does really well some plants do better than others and um, That's the fun of it too. We change things out um, and we experiment and we kind of enjoy that process now Lauren is kind of getting to be a fairy garden expert. So Lauren, what would you, what are your top tips for people that are hoping to start their own fairy garden? Um, I'd say if you have plants and flowers, make sure to water them and keep a good eye on them. And if you have a mailbox, try writing to your fairy. Ooh, that's a great tip. And I see that your flag is up on your mailbox right now. So you've probably already written to your fairy. Okay, so what is your number one top tip for fairy gardening? would probably be to make sure to use a little bit of fairy dust, sprinkle some in your fairy garden because fairies love shiny and sparkly things. Oh, that's a great tip. Okay, why don't you sprinkle some on and we will sign off from SheSave.com. We will be back with more fairy garden tips for you soon and we hope that you will share your tips with us as well. Okay, bye-bye.